I, you know, you think $5 ain't much. You know, you think, well, you know, $5, you know, man, how can he do a lot on $5? Well, God told me there would be 100 faithful people that would give me $5 a month and uh, to go into the project reaching out. And, and that's what we do with it. It doesn't pay my light bill here. I pay my own internet. I pay the phone bill. That, that's my way of giving. Um, I, 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 I'm blessed to have a good job. I have a wonderful boss. And uh, right now, to run the radio program itself is costing me right at $220 a month for all the equipment and the phone lines and the internet and everything. But it's an honor and a blessing to do that so we can have the other to reach out to uh, those less fortunate. So it won't cost you them a dime to call, right? No, no, it don't cost them nothing. It won't uh, be on their phone bill. No, they can they can call me right now live oh, at one nine three one four eight four four five three one, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. I'm sure Pastor would appreciate it if you call him. He, Amen. Let me uh, get over here and check the phone. We've got a ringer. Uh, hello, you've got the gospel music jukebox. Who we got there? Amen. This is Brother Monroe. <laughs> Amen, brother. How you doing tonight? All right. I tell you, hey, I was getting blessed here. Hey, I was, I was waiting on him to get far gut straight back it up. <laughs> Amen. Well, I'm just going to turn him loose with you. You got you. You want to tell him that? Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Hey, brother Eddie. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm fine as a fiddle. Uh, well, that's good, brother. Hey, I was waiting on you to get far back up. Oh, buddy, I, I'll tell you what, the known is in this little studio. Go over to God. People needs to get up and get out and do God's will, you know. I mean, they don't need to sit on the couch all the time. <laughs> Amen. Right now, I'm hey, sitting hey, on the speaker, hey, brother. Be, you know, <laughs> we got to get out there, and we got to spread the gospel. We can't sit Ooh, on, on our hind ends and expect people to learn about God. Come but, on, brother. Come on. I mean, I tell you, brother, I'm, I'm going to tell you, people has just give up. They don't need to get up. They need to get up, and get up, and get out. Come on, amen. You know, they need to get and walk the line. You know, you need you need to get out and walk roads. You need to get out and get on the street corners. You need to spread God's gospel. You know, because tomorrow might never come. That's right. Woo, come on now. That's right. I mean, I tell you, you know, the Lord says, "Go ye into the world and spread my gospel." You know, he he didn't say, "Well, just sit on your rear end, not do nothing, brother." <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> well, I, praise I, I, God. I was sitting there. I was like, well, what am I supposed to do here, Lord? The Lord says, well, call this. So let everybody hear you. Hey, that's the way we got to be. You know, we got to step out on faith. <laughs> We've got to do what God tells us to do, you know. We can't just sit around. Uh-uh. Come on. And, and not do anything, you know. I mean, you got to love thy neighbor, you know. Ask thyself. You know, you've got to do on the others you want them to do on to you. You can't just go out and say, well, I'll do this for one person, but this other person I'm not going to do it for. God ain't never said that. He wants you to do it for all, not just for one. Amen. If you see a need and you shut up your bowels of compassion, how dwelleth the love of God right, in you? That's Amen. Right. When we see a need, and, and, and now, right now, everybody, that's listening, whether it be live or by way of the archive, you know somebody that needs your help. You can either go visit them, you can pray for them, or you can take them a, a gallon of milk or give them a ride. There's something you can do to make a difference in their life and give the glory to Jesus. Amen? Amen, brother. Amen. 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 I tell you. That's uh, just like what you were saying, if you see somebody in need. Well, the thing about it is, is that uh, you've been saying it for months on end, your brother, that, hey, I'm in need. Somebody can come and help me and get blessed, you know, because, hey, I'll feed them soup, beans, cornbread, taters, you name it. Amen. It, it, let's do that. Let's take just a moment. Uh, let's start with Pastor Eddie Garrett. Stay on the line now, brother. Stay with Alrighty. us. Pastor, uh, do you have any need you would like to let the the listeners know about? And uh, 
we're just going to trust God. We're going to pray at the end of this and uh, trust God to meet our needs. Go ahead, Pastor Eddie Gary. Well, I, I, I'm in need right now of an uh, electric bill being paid. I'm, my home is in the dark. But guess what? Jesus is the light of the world. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, would you give them uh, your phone number uh, that they could call you if they feel the, the burn to uh, get involved and help you with with that? Uh, so share your phone number, Pastor. 931-310-8700. 931-310-8700. It's a free number. Just give me a call. And I promise you, you know, a lot of people, Brother Eddie, they'll send their money to Africa. They'll send it to uh, uh, way overseas, and, and which that's fine if that's what they want to do. Uh-huh. But I, I think we ought, I think they ought to help the people around the, around the communities here, don't you? Amen. I, I believe God has Amen. people that helps all of us. I mean, okay. now, but but I'm going to share something at the end of this, okay? Uh, uh, brother Monroe, uh, share your need uh, with us there, brother. Well, the thing about it is, is I've been without my truck for about eight months here and stuff, and I know that you've been... God, you've been trying, you know, and, I, you know, God's uh, just right there, you know, and he's, he's keeping me calm about it, you know, and, I mean, yeah, you're going to get aggravated about because you ain't got a vehicle, bro. I'm on. And uh, the thing about it is, you know, that's the way God tests you. He takes what you need the most. He'll take it away <laughs> from you just to test you to see how much faith you do got in him. You know, I mean, I'm in need of getting my transmission rebuilt and stuff like that, getting it put on my truck. So that way I'll have it back because I need my vehicle, you know. And if there's anybody out there, you know, come on. that feels the burn or anything inside their heart to come and help me, hey, they can give me a call at 1-606-785-4736 anytime. Amen. Amen. See, the the thing we've been trying to teach people, you know, I mean, us here at the Gospel Music Jukebox, we reach out. You know, I've been helping Brother Munro. I've been helping Brother Jeff. I've been helping uh, uh, Gary down here, uh, uh, a homeless gentleman, uh, get shelter. I, not only do I do that, I do the Gospel Music Radio. Plus, I go preach revivals. Plus, I go <clears throat> and uh, volunteer and take people to the hospital and things. So there's many jobs we can do. And I and I live in Crossville, Tennessee. Now, Brother Munro, he came down out of Kentucky, and he helped me on a church bus project that we were doing to help Pomona United Methodist Church. And so what we're saying, see, there's plenty to do. There's plenty to do. Amen. 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 All you have to do is walk out in faith. Amen. And God will do the rest. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Somebody's trying to call in. They'll have to wait just a moment. Right, <laughs> Amen. I, 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 I if can, they'll just walk out on faith and stuff like that, God will do the rest. He will bless you with everything that you need. You know, he'll, he'll, he's, he's blessing you already. If you've got a roof above your head and a place to sleep, because most people doesn't got that. The less unfortunate people that's out here that's homeless, you can help the homeless by Amen. giving them a place to lay their head or a warm blanket or a coat. Or a pair of shoes on their feet, or a warm meal, you know. You, you can do anything if you just step out on faith and go see who needs it and help them out, brother. That, that's what God wants you to do. Amen. And amen. Well, brother, you know we love you. And if God don't send nobody by the weekend, I'm a heading that way, and we'll do what we can again. Uh, uh, we'll, I, I'm down now with a bad arm, so please keep praying for me. Uh, I tore a tendon in my right arm, and the meat come, uh, the muscle come away from the bone. Uh, they're saying I'm going to have to wear this brace for about eight weeks. And then they're going to make another brace for the wrist that I'll probably have to wear all of my life. And I told them, <clears throat> well, I believe Jesus is going to heal it, and I don't Amen. think I'm going to need that other brace. <laughs> well, that's just like the doctor told, told me there a while back, brother. Uh, I went to the doctor on killing my wrist. It's broke on both sides. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I broke one side of it in a car wreck. Well, the thing about this went down there, and they said, well, we could put a screw in it. 
And I looked up and told them, I said, well, uh, how much chance do I got to use my list? They said, well, it's a 50-50 chance. It's a 50 chance, you know, that you could use it, and it's a 50 chance that you can't use it. I was like, well, I said, I'll tell you something else. I said, I'm going to walk out of here, and I said, God's going to do it. I said, God will let me use my wrist. Amen. You know, and I, I've been using it ever since, and it's still broke. <laughs> Amen. We got hey, God can do all. He That's can right. heal all. That's right. Amen. You just have to have the faith, you know. Just put all your trust and your worries into God, and don't put it of this world. Don't put it of self either. You know, just give it all to God. If you're Amen. out there and you're lost, come on. Tonight is the night of salvation. <laughs> Praise you know, God. The Lord is just sitting right there and holding his hand out and says, Come here, my child. Let me have your soul. Come on. Give me your heart. Ooh, come on. Come on. Accept me. Well, praise God. <laughs> Amen. I'll All right. Beside myself. <laughs> Amen. My turn. My turn. My need is I need a mechanic willing, if you're in Crossville and want to ride up to the eastern part of Kentucky and go with me Friday evening, just give me a call right here at the, the radio number. Uh, or see me in person right here in Crossville, Tennessee, and take a journey for Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right, brother, you got anything else you need to say or do? Whew. I tell you, I, I think I'm good for right now. <laughs> all right, brother. We, we love you, man. We'll see you Friday, Lord's willing. We love you all, too, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Oh, brother. man, I'm looking forward to getting a big hug off of everybody up there. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to tell you, if I, I, I'm going to fix your suit, baby. Well, look right. out now. You feed an old dog, he might not leave, I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, I just have to put a chain around you and put you on the outside. I, lo <laughs> I love you too, brother. God bless, bud. God bless. God bless. All right. Praise God. God is good. Amen. We were getting another call. We'll we'll kind of hold on a minute and see if they want to call back. They tried to call twice. The My phone line's messed up. Uh, right now I can't call out on it and I can't take more than just one call at a time they're supposed to be here Tuesday and uh, redo this so hopefully we'll get it all up and uh, working and going it, uh, caller if you would please the line is open right now if you would uh, call back in we'd love to hear from you I'm sorry we missed your call but we're doing the best we can with what we got right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So please uh, call back in and uh, we'll give you your opportunity to shout loud and let the world know you're not ashamed of Jesus Christ. Amen. Or if you uh, got a complaint, we'll let you talk to Pastor Eddie Garrett. <laughs> He's going to be my complaint. Uh, department tonight. Amen. All right, uh, Brother Monroe, thank you for calling in and obeying the Lord. Uh, be sure to let uh, Brother Jesse know that we love him. Give him a big hug. Uh, looking forward to being in that part of the country once again, uh, the Lord's will. Amen. All right, so now, uh, while we're waiting to see if the caller calls back in, uh, if I got this right, okay, you just had to move your church mm -hmm. uh had to move my church and then i got evicted and i had to move from my trailer at the same time at the same time so that's what brought this need on i mean it's yes. not because you you mishandled money or right. you didn't have the money right you just had a lot of expense come on right. you at one time here oh brother eddie they sold the church right out from under us and mm -hmm. and gave us so many days to be out of the church and and we turned around. We got another church building and moved out like five, like four days early than what we were supposed to. And then we get the phone call as we're moving out of the church to hurry up and get out. So we got out of the church. And by the time that we got the notice that they sold the church, we got evicted from our trailer for keeping a family member that really needed a place to stay and uh -huh. didn't have a place to lay his head. Oh. But, you know, God God is good regardless what happened. Amen. When we, got, when we got evicted, Eddie looked at him and he told the landlord, he said, well, he says, how many days you giving us? And he said, 14. He said, well, I'll do my best to be out of here before then. But, you know, things started happening and... Okay, hold on just a second, sis, and we'll let you finish that. 
We'll see. Uh, hello, hello.